Today I'm going to talk about these new syringes for our artificial insemination kit. I've bred dogs for 35 years and I can't even come close to guessing how many AIs I've done on dogs. Uh, I would do the type of artificial insemination where I would collect my male and then inseminate my female that's right there in heat. And, uh, I would use this type of equipment, but it, what I used wasn't as good as what we have today. I probably did 150, I don't know, at least 150 AIs because you have a female in season and if you're doing it yourself, you can do two or three at a time. But what I like about this is we're gonna show you a close up of the type of syringe that we used to use for a 20cc and the type of syringe that we have today. And the difference is very obvious when you look at it. When you do a collection on a male, you want to get every single drop of semen that you can into your female. And the advantage with these new syringes that we have, and I'm going to hold them side by side here so you can see them, we have a 12 and a 20 cc syringe is that <clears throat> the little nipple that comes off the side doesn't come out of the middle it comes out of the bottom and it just allows you and the end of the syringe is flat whereas this one has a little bit of an angle going up so you can't get all of the semen out of these type of syringes that you would buy at your local farm and fleet type of a store these syringes are made for AIs so we have two different catheters that we use, a small dog catheter, which can go on the 12 cc syringe. It's flexible, it has a flexible hose, so it can move around. And then we have the large dog catheter that goes on. And if you're thinking about doing, let me get it on there, there we go. If you're thinking, so you can move it around, safely. If you're thinking about doing artificial inseminations on your, on your dogs, I produced a DVD explaining how to do it. I would recommend that you find a local vet and have him show you the first time. And what I'd really recommend is have a local vet that will draw blood for you and give you progesterone tests back so you know exactly what day to do your AI on. Once we started running progesterone tests on our dogs, uh, our rate of conception went way up. I mean, we hardly ever missed after we did that. But take a look at these new AI tubes, the catheters and the syringes. And if you're gonna do it, get these.